Okay. What kind of uh, follow-up care should I expect after being diagnosed uh, diagnosed with dementia? Um, follow-up care like pain or routine, a medical follow-up uh, to look for the disease progression and uh, and look for any new uh, symptoms, like especially psychiatric uh, symptoms that can be uh, treated uh, because these um, these are important to treat and. Um, of course, like one should, uh, the patient should be encouraged to, you know, or uh, do more socializing, uh, more outdoor activities. If um, you know, if they can walk, they, they should be uh, allowed to walk. And of course, a uh, good diet, a good nutritional diet, and uh, good sleep helps a lot. Um, sometimes it's overlooked, but they all play a very important role. And of course, one should uh, get routine blood test and uh, you know for sugar, lipid levels, and uh, see that they're all under control. Um, it, it's it's very important that any other disease like uh, cardiometabolic disease, disease like uh, diabetes, uh, heart disease, uh, lipid cholesterol levels should be treated uh, very well. They should all be under control because they all uh, affect the disease. Uh, you know very much so uh, another thing to add is like uh, one can also uh, go for cognitive function test every uh, few months say like six months to see uh, how the uh, the mental abilities are uh, you know, affected if they are like you know worsening if they are uh, still being the same because there isn't uh, you don't expect them to uh, improve. You can only expect them to uh, be stable, stay the same, or worse. Okay. So every uh, you know cognitive function test every six months would help. Okay. Uh, yeah. Just one line to add is that uh, the caregiver should uh, uh, try to ensure that the person is as independent as possible, so that the person can. Uh, should be you know encouraged to do all the activities to the extent he or she can by himself or herself that means uh, the caregiver should not help the uh, person with dementia with things which the person the patient can do himself or herself so that will uh, you know keep the you know preserve the uh, functionality of the patient for longer periods so once the uh, functionality is lost, slowly the caregiver has to help. But till that point of time, the caregiver should push the uh, patient to do things for himself or herself as much as possible.